to uh, welcome back to our videos. Um, this is the installation and of the software and, and the device on the network. Um, this device we're, we're talking about is the um, OfficeJet Pro 8000 Enterprise printer from Newman Packard. We went over some of the specifications before. Uh, 15 pages per minute maximum print speed in black, 14 pages per minute in color, uh, 250 sheet input uh, input tray, and an optional 250 sheet uh, second tray for a total capacity of 500 sheets. And something you don't normally see for for inkjet printers is uh, it has 256 megabytes of of memory, and I can't recall ever seeing an inkjet printer that advertising how much memory it has. Uh, unusual. Uh, the reason why, uh, what makes it different from the uh, the Office Jet Pro 8000 from a, a, a year and a half ago is uh, the word enterprise, and it all it's all sent it's all summed up right here, uh, and it has a, a complete. Uh, compatibility all across a, a diverse environments, uh, Windows, SAP, Citrix, uh, HP, PCL6, 5, uh, Post, HP Postscript, um, it has standard network connectivity and it promises to have a, a whole bunch of um, uh, web jet admin uh, manageability functions you'll see up here um, and there also has the uh, universal print driver, so it's a really, really uh, set up for um, for use in an enterprise. Um, why anybody else would want one of, um, over an Office Jet Pro 8000 non-enterprise? Well, just if you want the manageability. So uh, let's let's look and see what this installation is, is go going to entail. Uh, it's 1.09 p.m. Here we go. Should be fairly easy. This is just a printer. We're not going to have um, a ton of uh, software to install because it's only a printer. And it will be a, uh, since it's an enterprise printer, I would be surprised if. Um, it installed much at all on this workstation um, since IT would prefer to have zero software installed on any workstation in order to get magically get get prints I mean that that, that would be their, their their dream so I would I would assume that there's a happy medium here with this so only time will tell the installer has launched it's a little different than anything I've seen lately from the office jets Entirely different. I shouldn't say a little different. Now I hope this installer is working some magic because um, we're looking at a minute plus here just to load the installer is not a good sign, but I have confidence in HP. Okay, here we go. This is real easy. No, I don't even think it's gonna give me a, give me a. Um... All right, here we go. Please read the following agreements. Yada yada yada. In, end user thing. Privacy statement. Information about internet connection usage. Uh, firewalls and antivirus software may may in, impact the the uh, install process. So you know, thanks for the warning. I think I will turn this off. Just in case. Sorry, old chap. But you can um, rest. Uh, now under here on more options we have uh, documentation, admin documentation, admin software. Get specialized drivers web support. That's all um, some serious uh, stuff compared to the. Uh, regular office chat line. Uh, we see the universal print driver portal, HP WebJet admin, driver deployment utility, conf 
um, with, which enables administrators to create a, a package for silent unattended installation that's 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 beautiful um, another one that lets you that lets them customize the print drivers before they deploy them um, specialized drivers HP uh, print driver portal uh, gives uh, access to a wide range of HP protocols uh, web support is online support documentation uh, online web guide to read me help and learn center administrative documentation HP configuration utility user guide so all, all this stuff it's, it's just basically links everything's links but um, it's nice to have here so let's get it go forge ahead with the software install didn't give me any any options at all it's going to install that or in the help and learning center uh, if, if you look at those tools that they they provide online tools and um, um, the installation process can be diskless and um, uh, and streamlined and configured uh, per the, the uh, needs of the enterprise say automatic duplex is always turned on and uh, uh, draft mode is always turned on unless told otherwise things like that okay prepare to install this may take several minutes Okay, now we're on step two, connect the product, uh, di directly connect di using a USB cable, connect through a wired uh, network. It's already hooked up. I, I hooked the wire. Um, before we began this process, let's see, uh, automatically find it. I don't, quite frankly, I don't know what the IP address is at this point. I could always look it up on the control panel, but I'm too lazy. So this is quick, and there it is right there. Office Pro, Office Jet Pro 8, 8000 Enterprise A 811A. Uh, IP address is 115. That's it. Next, installing software. Oh baby, go. Um, it's probably just a print driver, and, and of course that 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 help. It help shouldn't be too much. Uh, I would expect HP to have a lot of them. Um, components of, of help that is online um, or cloud-based so that a lot of stuff doesn't get installed on every workstation all kinds of uh, help files that could be outdated when you know when somebody finds a and it finds a, a new application or workarounds for other issues that can be incorporated into a updated help file it's always nice to have them on on the cloud versus on uh, non updatable on the user's uh, workstation. I still wasn't able to make that gauge move any faster though, and it seems stalled out here at 44%. All right. Thank you for choosing HP. Yes, we'll set it as a default printer. Uh, there we go. Thank you for choosing HP. Exiting, please wait. Okay. 1.25 p.m. We started at 1.09 p.m. Uh, if you remember, we spent a little, t about a minute looking at the uh, software available on the CD drive that, um, um, I mean on the CD-ROM, just to see what was on there. So um, we can subtract that. Um, geez, there's a couple other HP still on here. Not a good idea. Sorry, I didn't take it out. We've been real off. We've been really busy. That this is real nice, um, and it's nice to be busy. But um, all there is is uninstall and the help and learn center. And help and learn center. Take a second to load. Let's look at devices and printers as well. 
Um, everyday job. Information on ink cartridges and printheads. Check inst estimated ink levels. Replacing print cartridges. Replace the printers. Uh, so it's it's pretty straightforward. I mean, there's no videos or anything fancy like with the office jets, but it's all pretty straightforward. Devices and printers. Let's see what we have here. Pretty straightforward. Oh, it's created its own Office Jet port. It's a standard TCP IP port. Everybody's familiar, especially uh, IT guys are familiar with that. Nothing special there. Uh, print driver looks like this. Pretty straightforward, just like the other Office Jets. You can create these printing shortcuts. If I go and change a um, paper quality to, uh, let's say, color, uh, print and grayscale, and I go back to printing shortcuts, I can now save this as a shortcut and name it so I don't general everyday grayscale printing. Um, uh, I don't see the ability to import these. Uh, maybe somewhere else, uh, you know, some of the uh, other enterprise devices, you can import these and, uh, so that you have short, into, uh, corp corporate shortcuts and, um, uh, to match your application. So, um, Internet services. Device and supply status opens up the embedded web server. This should be um, fairly advanced because this is a uh, business class enterprise level um, network interface on this, and we'll be able to tell by looking at some of the advanced. Okay, here's some that you won't see on any other. Uh, HP uh, Office Jets and other ink jets for that matter, PCL Postscript, uh, email server settings, uh, authentication for your SM SMTP servers, um, firewall rules, IPv6, all of the uh, advanced protocol settings that you would need in an enterprise uh, environment. And even with optional chat directs, there's even more. Let's see at the um, usage report. All right, it's telling us black and white color. Uh, I suppose if you were doing envelopes, it would be under other here. I don't see any uh, duplex. I don't see legal uh, show up under others here. Um, there's nothing accumulated, so I'm, I'm making assumptions. Printer reports, font lists, the event log. Okay, bookmarking, uh, static IP addresses required, print quality, toolbox, asset tracking, I give it a, a asset number. So uh, it doesn't look a lot different in the uh, other office chats on this, uh, the superficial kind of on this page, except for when you get over into the heavy duty uh, more heavy-duty settings, you'll start to see things that aren't available on Office Jet. So that's the embedded web server. In color, the print and grayscale option, uh, HP Easy Color, 
finishing um, your duplexing is activated right here and if you want duplexing you can also go to this printing shortcuts and uh, there should be a, a duplex e eco print two side printing you can also uh, create a duplex general everyday printing uh, shortcut as well which is what I would do make it the default uh, paper and types and quality, print quality, normal draft best. Draft is good for just about everything but sending things out to customers. Uh, paper type. Let's see how many are supported. Quite a bit. Maybe not quite a bit, but enough. There's enough uh, there to uh, keep most people happy and advanced uh, color management print all text is black um, if you really want to save ink this is a good one to um, um, activate instead of trying to print uh, various use color to print black text uh, it'll force it to use black which is uh, has the lowest cost per page but uh, this is how this is your print driver that's how you can set all of your all of your print defaults is from the printer folder uh, if you change any of these settings here it it, um, it it's across every application so you would simply right click it and do printing preferences so that's it not much software um, installed. Um, it's 135 p.m. now, and it was pretty easy. So thanks for watching. Bye.